first time back on Australian soil since um, that epic game in March. Um, must be great to be back playing some cricket. Yeah, it is. So I think it's um, it's been a long time coming. Unfortunately, um, you know the circumstances around the world have transpired over the last few months, and it, it'll be great to get everyone back together. I think we've been uh, pretty good in our communication over you know, all the various forums, but there's nothing like getting back together. I know there's a very excited group of Victorians and New South Wales people coming in over the next couple of days, so um, exciting times ahead. And three formats of cricket, which is common for the, for the girls to play, but just to be able to play every, every form of the game across um, a month or so. Yeah, it's going to be huge. I think India are obviously a fantastic rival of ours. Um, they're on the way up. Um, they're, they're a very well-rounded team. I think they've, they've had some good success against us, particularly in some big games. So uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Obviously, missing a couple of key bowlers in our attack in Shute and Jonathan. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the, the young players adapt and um, you know, come up against some world-class batters. So a little bit extra pressure on our batting unit that's been together for a long time to, to put out some big scores. And, you know, we don't have that reliance on a couple of key bowlers. So it's going to be a really interesting series to see who, who takes the, the opportunity and runs with it. First day night test against uh, India on the, on the Gold Coast, which is another first. So that's, uh, that's pretty exciting for the fans. Absolutely. I think, you know, Gold Coast are very close to my heart, having grown up there. And um, it was the first place I ever played grade cricket. So, um, you know, that stadium there is magnificent now. I went there for the Commonwealth Games. It's, it's got a real aura about it. And I think it's going to be exciting for our players to play there. The pitch of what I've seen in the, in the Big Bash has been exceptional as well. So hopefully you get a bit of pace and bounce and bring a couple of our young quicks into the contest there in the Test match. And playing in Mackay, regional Queensland, that's, that's a big one as well. Get, get the opportunity for some of the younger fans to have a look at these guys and girls up front. Yeah, I, I think uh, Mackay's got a great reputation. I haven't been up there for a few years, but everything I hear is it, the f facilities are magnificent. Uh, people come and watch, which is great. And I think, um, you know, being what it has been for the last 12 months, I think a lot of people want to get out and about and watch these players get out and play. I think um, I've been starved of, of women's cricket for over, over the past 12 months. We were riding a little bit of a wave, and this is a chance to, you know, get back, to, back to, on the field and, and really nail it. So uh, I'm very excited. Yeah, we're, we're incredibly grateful to the government up here in Queensland for, for you know, for the, allowing our players in. I think um, we've, we've been really good at um, quarantining. We did it really well in New Zealand. We've got some great raps from the way we embraced it. Um, you know, it's going to be tough for, for those players and, and particularly leading into a big bash straight after. So looking after them mentally and physically is going to be really important. Uh, it's a congested schedule, so um, you know, our Triple SM staff will be working hard for their money. Um, and you know, that player freshness, keeping them up and about, is going to be really crucial. An opportunity for a couple of young stars, as you mentioned, those guys uh, missing a couple of young bowlers coming into the squad. Yeah, it is. And I, and I think it's something I've spoken to Meg Lanning a, a little bit about. Like, we never want to give away opportunities to play for Australia, but we're, we're forced into this at the moment. And, and it, is a, it is a nice thing for this group to have. Uh, leading into a big 18 months of cricket with a World Cup around the corner, an Ashes series, uh, it's just a perfect opportunity for some of these young players to, to grab their spot and take it because um, they know that it's been their hard earned every game for Australia over the last couple of years has, has been really difficult. So they'll get a good run at it. We've got, to, as you said, we're playing three formats. Uh, there's a lot of cricket in a short space of time. So we're going to rely on every, everyone in that 18 player squad. And um, India, um, a big rival in both men's and women's cricket. Um, how is it playing them again? First time I would understand since the World Cup, since the semi final. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, India are going to be huge. Um, they, they've obviously played um, England recently over there, and, you know, they're probably the, the bad side of that result. But um, they've got some cricket under their belt. They'll come over here. They have to quarantine like us, but, you know, we've a couple of practice matches to start, and I think that'll um, be get, both teams a really good feel of where they're at. Um, we, we won't hide from the fact that we will feel a little bit underdone going into this series. So those two practice matches um, are really vital for us. Get everyone back together, as I said, get our combinations right. We've done a lot of work on our matchups, um, and we know what they're going to bring. Um, they're, they're a very smart team. Uh, they take a lot of pace off the ball. They make our batters work hard for it. Um, and their batting unit is, is, is as dynamic as any batting unit in the world. So it's going to be a really good test.